Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title above, I am back with another video. So let's go ahead and get right into that video. Hello stranger, it's been a minute since we last kicked it. And by the way, just got in town. And I won't let you in this cloud, it's all in the sky. Days where it's like up and down. One day you're like, you're super good, you're jolly, you're happy, you're talking, you're just vibrant. And then the next day it's like you're sad, you're depressed about something, you don't want to talk to nobody, you're just down and out, and just, oh. Like, I have those days. Like, today I'm actually okay. I feel great. And some days I feel like, I don't want to get out of bed. I don't want to be bothered with anybody. I don't want to talk to anybody. I just want to be left alone. So with that being said, y'all, this is a topic we're going to get on ways to build your confident self love. Hey, so with number one is accept your imperfections. Your imperfections are what make you you. Your imperfections are beautiful. Accept them. Place your value in things that matter. Things that benefit you in the end. Things that make you feel good. Things that make your nervous system feels good. When your nervous system feels good, ooh wee, yes. Number three, set boundaries for yourself and for others that are around you. When you set those boundaries, promise you it makes things a lot smoother so with that being said number four is things get rid of things that don't serve you so that's what i mean by setting boundaries like if they can't respect that um also getting like when i say things that don't serve you get like things places people jobs it, if it doesn't serve you anymore if it's not going to benefit you in the end or y'all can't benefit each other or the job can't benefit each other, or the place wherever you're at, get rid of it. I know it's easier said than done, but once you do it, you will feel so good in the end. Number five, list things that you love about yourself. We get in the habit of tearing ourselves down. We get in the habit of looking in the mirror and pointing out all of our flaws. We have to stop doing that. We have to look in the mirror, build ourselves up, tell ourselves that we're beautiful and that we will get through this day, this tough time, whatever we're going through. Number six, take time for yourself. And I am so big on this. Take time for yourself. Go on a walk, go on a hike, try that new restaurant, read a book. When I say read a book, y'all, like literally go, you don't have to go look at no uh, financial literacy. <laughs> you can go get an urban fiction book. You can get a book that's about love. You can get a book about like anything, like self-worth, self-love, stuff like that. Go watch your old show. Things that make you feel good. Take time for yourself. And with that being said, when you take time for yourself, we're going to get into number six. Stay on social media. Social media is just like this rabbit hole people get into, they invest their self into. They're looking at like uh, celebrity drama. They're looking at the news. They're looking at stuff. I get it. We do need to be, you know, in touch with stuff that's going around us. Not celebrity drama so much, but like stuff that's happening in this world that can affect us. Yes, I get that. But sometimes you can like unplug, decompress from it all. Like, it helps you so much just to stay off social media. And I get sometimes that can be hard for some people, but trust me, do like a 10 day fast where you're just like not on social media for 10 days. It's not gonna be hard. You're gonna find other avenues and other things to do that interest you and make you feel better. I don't lost count for right now, so I'm gonna stop counting. I'm just gonna start listing them. Commit to your goals. I'm not saying that you need to complete, complete the goal right then and right there. Break your goals down in different, like not different, smaller chunks, smaller sections, and do a little at a time until you complete it. I get it, it's easier said than done, but trust me, once you complete that goal, you start like, hey, I can accomplish a lot. I'm also big on this, romanticize your life. What I mean by romanticize your life is you are the main character of your life. Make it spontaneous. 
Not saying that you have to, like, say for instance, you got coffee at home. Make it, put a little whipped cream, put a little sprinkles, little razzle dazzle to make it more, you know, spontaneous. <laughs> Y'all, I made a TikTok video if you haven't seen. I'm pretty sure you haven't, but it's on my TikTok. Um, it was Valentine's Day. Who says that Valentine's Day is just for couples? It's about love and you have to start loving yourself. So what I did, I came home from work. I had bought um, a bottle of wine. I bought some sweets. Um, I made me a bubble bath. I had like curl, boy whoever. I put uh, rose petals in my bath. I had the lights off. I had the R&B going. I had my uh, wine. I was just doing self care. I had like my little cute little um, little body washes and scrubs and whatnot. I was taking time doing physical touch because sometimes you have to do practice your affirmation. The affirmation, practice your love language on yourself. And my love language is funny because I don't like when people hug me, but it's low. It's low key. It's physical touch. So I took extra time on myself. I rubbed myself down with my oils and all that. I put on a cute little um, lounge set. Like, I was just so happy because I took time out for myself and I romanticized my life. I catered to myself that day. So yes, you can do that. Another thing, um, I say affirmations in the morning. I kind of stopped doing it for a minute because my head has been, you know, like I told you, I have those days sometimes and I don't do it, but I got to get back to doing it. I watch this girl that's on YouTube. I say my affirmations in the morning and it feels good to like say it out loud. And once you start saying things out loud, you start to believe it and you believe it about yourself and it just makes you feel so good. Like I know I said that a lot, but this is like a feel good video. So yes, it makes you feel so good to speak these positive things about yourself. Like one of the things that I like, what did it say? It said obstacles and hardships improve me. They are not worth shattering my confidence. And that is, key because i try to say that every single morning when i don't say my all my affirmations and it feels good to say that like i said this is a feel good video meditate go in a dark room or wherever have a create a blank canvas in your head and think of something that makes you happy try to connect with yourself be in tune with yourself know your triggers and your takes um usually when i do it i'll Picture myself on the beach. I love the beach. Like the beach, if I can put a house on the beach, I definitely would. I'm such a beach girl. I love the beach so much. It's just so relaxing. It calms me. So that's why I'm so ready to get to the beach. Like, yes. But yeah, meditate, blank canvas, picture somewhere where it makes you feel relaxed, makes you feel good, makes you feel like you're at home, a peace, serenity. This is something that I've been doing when I was younger journal i've been doing it since i was a young girl because i felt like i was i wouldn't say misunderstood but i feel like nobody will understand me the way that i understand me and then i feel like sometimes i just didn't want to talk about my problems and i kept everything in so i started journaling when i was like this i was like in junior high i was journaling writing notes to myself i was getting all my thoughts out on that paper it's a way to vent it's a way to process things it in all reality just makes you feel good i'm gonna stop saying it makes you feel good in this video but like i said this is a feel good video um yeah you can just process everything you want out in that paper everything that you're thinking of that's bothering you that's making you happy write it down you don't have to share with nobody write it down you feel like you can't talk to nobody write it down journal they got cheap journals at the dollar store or sure, you can find a piece of paper somewhere around your house. Journal. <laughs> Never seek validation from others. Stop seeking approval from others because they're not perfect. And I get that you wanna, you know, look good in people's eyes, but when you try to keep that up all the time, you're just driving yourself crazy. The only person you used to seek approval from is yourself. So, yeah. You have to learn how to love yourself through every stage of life. The good, the bad, the ugly. Stay true to who you are and never switch up for nobody. I mean nobody. 
And always remember, your setbacks doesn't mean that you are a failure. It's just a stepping stone to your success. And with that being said, I hope and I pray whatever you're going through, if you clicked on this video and you feel like you're going through something, whatever you're going through, I pray and hope that you get through it. And I know that you will get through when you start believing in yourself. Oh my gosh, self-love is the best love, y'all. Anyways, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you like, you comment, and most importantly, you subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Well, hold on. Disclaimer. I am not a licensed therapist, but sometimes I feel like it. But it's okay. It's funny because one time I did say if I was to ever go back to school, I would change my major to psychology. Because I just, I'm in love with the mind. Anyways, y'all, <laughs> thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video. By the way, just got in town